Now I see why I'm not getting across to him. Kester will never change. I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't make it, man. We agreed that Yudi was bringing meat for me, right? Yeah, you can still go have her. Already? What is it? Wait, wait. Are you making faces for me because of that cheaply? I bet my guy grew up. What's that now? No, 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 no. Listen, how would you feel if I do this center to you? How? Oh, what was this? Oh, no, what did I do you now? What's the meaning of this? Okay, you asked Yudi to bring her friend for you. It's not like you've even talked to the girl before and you're here making it a biggie. Man, guy grew up, grew up, man. Ah, what's it now? As usual, always disappointed. Anyways, that's not why I'm here. Can you just get this pants and brat off my sight, please? <laughs> and how are they affecting you now? It's disgusting, very irritating. <laughs> Listen, whatever the case may be, I guess we got the job. We got the job. What? We got the job, man. We got it. Yeah, for real. Job. Job. For real. Job. Oh my God! 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 As the head of a large advertising and public relations firm like mine, I always have to be on the lookout for fresh talents and ideas that will help enhance our grip on the media sector. Now, I must say that what you have brought on my table is the best original idea I have seen in years. Uh, coming from you, that's a great compliment. I mean, uh, it goes to show that we have been on the right path and we're not making mistakes at all. No, I must say you haven't made any mistakes at all. Well, we are not complete on the materials, but it's very great to have the same Please don't forget, this is Miriam, my personal assistant, extremely, extremely reliable, I must say. I mean, without Miriam, I don't think I can function correctly. And Eddie, I did ask you to bring your partner over, so we collectively agree on the strategy and campaign that I have in mind, meaning you bring out your ideas and I bring out my own ideas. But if I get to hear what you have in mind, it's. Um, Lunch time, so let's do lunch and then we can talk. Deal? Uh, yeah, deal. Okay, waiter. <gasps> I'm telling you, we have moved to the big league. And not only moved to the big league, we are there to stay. <laughs> we are not just there to stay, we are there to stay and be noticed. It's not like before, but we just dangle out and dangle in. <laughs> the good part is that we are not just there to stay, nobody can drag us down and we are so, so respected. Yeah, of course it is. And we can even sell our shows, you know, have some great ideas we can develop on, right? Yes, I mean 240 million naira. 240 million naira. Oh my and God. we have the free hand to run oh the show. God. I mean, this is no dream. This is no dream. This, this is no mirror. This, this, this is for real. This is so good to me. Come on, you want me to be in Okay, I'll be in That was good. Is that real? Is that real? Is that real? Is that real? Oh my god, Naomi! Come on! Come over here, baby Oh my god! Oh, come oh over god. here, baby girl! Oh, wow, baby, you look so beautiful! Oh, like yeah. you said, man, the beauty is content, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Um, please, uh, Kesta. Naomi, this is my partner. His name is Kesta. Kesta is my old friend. Hello, darling. Has anyone told you you're so beautiful? <laughs> you just did that now. Well, um, don't mind Kesta, okay? He chases after everything on the sky. So you know, he has his sugar and lips and everything. Oh. <laughs> Eddie, every woman loves compliments. 
I often told you, you can attract a sweet girl. You know what? Because you're too straight, Jack said. <laughs> uh, so what are you doing here? Um, I actually came here for a date. Is it? Well, any man dumb enough to keep a sweet girl like you here waiting doesn't definitely deserve it. Well, you're right. Complete. Have a seat. You are good. Thank you. We have no glasses. Yeah, I'm gonna take my no glasses. Ready? Okay, so I take this one. <laughs> to to sauces. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, 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 Naomi, take it easy on the drink. What's your problem? We're still celebrating. Am I getting her drunk? I mean, she's a real player. I know she can go the distance. Yeah, yeah, dig it. Hey, it's Grace. No, 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 we're not busy. We are we're just sitting home and having a drink. Yeah. <laughs> well, who is this lady? Look, that, that's his boss, okay? Don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Is he in a relationship? Let's forget about him and talk about us, sir. Go, 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 go. You want me to come over? Oh, stop it. Bad boy. Okay, don't need to remind me. Even my mother calls me bad, so. Alright, I'll come. Alright. Okay, then bye. Guess what, pal? She wants to see me. Yeah, for what? I don't know. I mean, she pays the bills, so she can request at any time. <laughs> Are you a jiggler? No, I'm not. And it's apparent that you are junk. Come, let me take you home. Let's hey, go. Come on, hey, 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 I'm more of a thinker than a talker. Mm. So, how do you relate to your girlfriend? Well, I, I, I would definitely interact with my girlfriend very well. Mm. It means you don't have one, right? Mm, well, let's say it didn't work between us. You know, she was so much in a hurry um, to have what life could offer. Let me guess. I presume you couldn't give to her what life could offer? And let's say something like that. <laughs> Go on, Eddie. Tell me about yourself and your partner, Castle. Well, there was nothing much to talk about. I graduated with um, English and Literature, major in Creative Writing. I met Kester when we were doing our National Youth Service. And since then, we team on as partners. You know, I'm not a business guy anyway. Yeah, I know, T. I mean, he's always the one doing the talking, and all you do is just uh, nod along. <laughs> so, who creates the ideas and who develops it? Well, we are partners, so we create and develop the ideas together. Hmm. I like you, Eddie. I'd love to help you unless your potentials. Like I say, idea is money. Thank you so much, madam. Oh, madam, can I ask you a question? Sure, sure. And I've been wondering, I, I mean, how you stay at the top to manage this huge advertising frame? Well, the company is not mine, actually. It's my father's. When he passed away, I had to leave the UK and come to manage it. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> luck? It takes more than luck to be on top. That's why I need talents like you. Yeah. Thanks to that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Hey, what's wrong with you now? You, 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 she was willing and your boy was game. Oh. He was drunk and you took advantage of me? Oh, shut up! You stupid.
gives me the moment he left here. Why don't you be bold and I'll let it? Listen now, I want you out of this place this minute. You're a disgrace. You better know my friend, and yet here you are. Don't be in bed with him. Get out of this place this minute, Moki. Idiot. Sorry. Oh, shut up. I hate you. Yeah, a lot of ladies say they hate me, but still they end up in bed with me. So, uh... Get your hands off me! Don't right. touch me! <sighs> Did you... Lie? Oh, stop! <laughs> Guess I've been thinking. About what? About the future, my dreams and aspirations. <laughs> what exactly are you to that? Kester, things are not just working between us. Tanya, I believe we should just sort things out and let everybody go their different ways. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe in the nearest future, we just might be able to work together. But for now, I just, I just want to focus and go on with life alone. <laughs> What's your problem? Don't you think you're taking this thing a little too far? No, I'm not. I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> What's your problem? Don't let one cheap lady come in between you and your boy. Come on, it's not about cheap ladies. It's about you. You. Everything you think about is women, just women. <laughs> just, 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 just look at who's talking. Just, just, can, can you just hear yourself out? Huh? Wait, wait, is it my fault that you prefer my company to yours, sir? Is it my fault? Huh? Now you beginning to sound like a child. No, you're beginning to sound like a child. Except it, you are jealous. You always want to be like me, but you just can't because you do not have it. Even in my next world, I can never wish to be like you. Yes. Well, never. you know one thing for sure, I've always been an achiever. You know that? I started making money all the way from my first year in school. Huh? Well, it's unfortunate that our society don't recognize how you make the money. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're hitting at right now, but let me tell you this. Yes, I know. I have been a Yahoo Yahoo boy, 419 guy, problem. Yes, I know. But I tell you this, money is money, okay? It's money. Well, I can see you. You're not really changed. Look, hey, you know what? Man, stop, stop all this. Stop all this, man. Wake up. What's your problem? Ah, okay, so why don't you just go back to your prudent past? That's it, right? Because I can see you're not willing to change. Ah. Oh. Well, my name is Kester. Okay, so what are you doing around here? Well, searching for my missing rib. Uh, this is your house, right? Yes, but um, you still didn't answer the question. What oh What are you doing here? Oh my god, you are much more beautiful than I even thought. Thank you. You see, my dear, um, when a determined man is in search of something, he can go any length to heaven. So please don't ask me what and why I'm doing whatever here. Okay, so um, you stay here alone? Um, no, I live with my parents. Oh, better, better. That means you can take me into the house to see your parents so that I can tell them my intentions towards you, huh? Well, what are you talking about? Do you believe in love at first sight? Because trust me, I do. See, my dear, since the first day I met you, 
I've been dreaming, sleeping, eating nothing but you. Yes, and that's why I ask myself, did you bewitch me with your beauty, with your nose, with your eyes, with your lips? Don't, don't, don't do that again. Look, I'll continue doing that until you accept being mine, really. But I don't even know... Well, what... now you know why I'm that guy you've been searching for all your life. And what gave you the notion that... Hey, hey, you know what? Listen, I have this reputation. A good reputation, though. But a reputation with my tongue. I'm a nice guy, okay? But very arrogant with my tongue. In a good way, that is. So please, if you do not show me your parents right now, I will so lick you, I will so kiss you. You will <laughs> no, not even understand no, no, what no. hates you. Not now. Okay. No. You know what? I'm going to let you go right now. But still, I need you to convey this message to your boyfriend. Tell him that it's all over. And tell him there's a new sheriff in your town, okay? Because you're mine. Uh, baby. Okay. <laughs> what just happened? Madam, welcome. Come on. Come on. Come on, oh, oh, Eddie. <laughs> 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 now and tell me what has been on your mind, what has been troubling you. Splendid. You do have a good taste. I mean, the interior decoration is, tells that a woman lives here. Well, thank you very much for the compliments. And I must say, that was a smart move, trying to change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK. Please do have a seat. And what do I offer you? Um, water. Just water will be fine. So be it. Call me shoulder? I'm like a watchdog. I creep in and hug. And before you feel me, I melt like a shadow. Back into the dark and dig. With my eyes on you. No, 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 no. No, 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 please. Hey, Aunt Grace, you okay? Don't tell me you're making trouble. No, I was just making an introduction, that's all. Well, Shuddy is quite a character. Yes, I'm a character, and she knows I am. But don't act like a lunatic. You're going to scare him away. Okay, that means I'll just be in the kitchen to grab some bites while I listen to my hip hop beats with my ears wide open trying to get a hint of someone who's not welcome Peace bro Who was that? I'm like a watchdog I stare at you <laughs> That is my cousin He calls himself Shari He wants to be a rapper Mm -hmm. I never fail to tell him how disgusting he is, but trust me, he is fun, isn't he? <laughs> Here's your water. Excuse my leg. Are you going to tell me what's on your mind? Because still, let's go out and talk. Just talk. Okay, fine, yeah. Let's go then. Stay out your face! <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I do understand. I mean, I know how it feels to work with somebody you're so uncomfortable with. My honest advice would be for both of you to split amicably. 
amicably, I repeat. Thank you so much. You see, I was very worried about this issue. You see, honestly, Kesta is the force behind our partnership. You know, I just conceived the idea and he carries it out. You know, I'm kind of shy of talking to people. Okay. And have you studied the production costs you sent to me based on our agreements? I mean, as to how much it took cost for you to produce the 13 episodes of the reality show and how much you intend to make from it, that of course is without hiking the cost. Well, no, I'm uh, it's a 50-50 partnership. Kesta did everything. Okay, I will help you find comb the budget then. But you must assure me that after you get your paycheck, you will give to Kesta all that is due to him. But then you can shoot the 13 episodes with a new team. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so much relieved. You've not believed me so much. What? Aren't you my friend? Come on, you know I'm your friend. Well, but my friend is what friends do for each other. I'm certain my cook will have finished preparing lunch, so shall we? Are you saying you don't recognize the voice of your husband? <laughs> Kesta. Who also has somebody taking my space. I didn't tell you I was in a relationship, did I? Of course I know that. So, how are you? Because I am so, so worried about you here, my dear. Worried? Why? Well, uh, my house is empty and so large. Lonely without you. <laughs> So, who has been occupying this space before now? Oh, cockroaches, rats, mosquitoes. But you know what? I fumigated the whole place all because of you, my dear. You know, you do have a great sense of humor. Seriously. I never knew. So, how's your boss? Well, she should be fine. By the way, why didn't you come to the office with Eddie today? Yeah, he did. But he was a bit withdrawn. And um, I noticed Grace likes him a lot. And she took him to know her place today. Eddie, you're always so smart and quick to exploit. What do you mean by that? I'm um, nothing. nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, so, um, how about you and I seeing tomorrow it's weekend? Nope. I don't think so. Why? Mr. Castamadu, I hardly know you. And I can't possibly have anything to do with you. Uh, slow down. Come on. I mean, I thought you and I actually... Okay. Well, I don't want to sound rude here, but... I was about to take a bath before you called. Alright. Bye. Bye. Hi. I'm here to pick my stuff in your house. And where are you moving to? It's none of your business. Well, my business is what happens to the all above media contract. Well, she said she'll be giving us the first payment and next week. And I've sought out your percentage and I'll give you what you do. You know what? Okay? Listen, you can bootlick that girl for all I care. But you know what? I call the shots. Come on, Kesta, grow up. Stand up! Fight! I'll tell you this. Those your silly ideas are worthless without me. Do you understand? I want you to stand up right now and fight me like a man. Come on! I'm not going to get in a fight with you, okay? I appreciate the time you allow me to spend in your house. Allow me to go and get my things. <sighs> Thank you. 
No, come on. I, I'm not a kid, okay? Besides, I took the punch without complaining. This is all my fault. I mean, this is this is all my fault. Uh, how? How? Because this. By putting words into your mind. Oh, you, you didn't put any ideas in my mind, okay? I knew I just knew what I wanted. I just wanted to make sure my decision are justified. Uh, uh. You don't think you should see a doctor? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just came over here because it's not wor worried uh, on the phone. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Listen, I have to leave. I have to check in the hotel before it gets too late. No, 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 Eddie. Listen, I'm so worried about you. You have to stay here. Let me take care of you. <coughs> hey, um, sorry to interrupt. I was just on my way to the kitchen to get a bite. Um, do you care for some ice block? No, no, thanks. Sure. Why does he always sneak? Oh, most ridiculously, he seems to think he's some police detective who's meant to save me from evil men. My goodness. The thing is, he's always hungry. Oh, now you get to understand why he loves to stay at my place. Here, he has free access to my kitchen. He can eat whatever it is he wants to eat. Back home, his mother watches his every bite. Okay, let me go. No, no. I'm showing you to the guest room right now. Off we go. Ah, ah, hey. Oh. That's your nurse speaking. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, Kester, I don't like this. You can't just come to my house and call hey, me to call me to your outside. I'm sorry, okay, but um, are you sure this is your house or you stay with your parents or your Listen, boyfriend? This has to stop. I. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Um, I'm sorry for embarrassing you, really, but um, I just need a friend to confide in, really. You see, I, I got into some kind of brawl last night. With who? Eddie. He tried to kill me. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm here before you by the grace of God and, you know, thank God for reflexes. What, what happened? Look, it's a long story. I'm devastated as it is right now. I just need someone to talk to. So please, um, why don't we just, you know, go to my place. Let's talk about from nowhere, somebody I fed, I mean, just wants to kill me for nothing. Okay, now I don't get this. This is what happened, okay? I was sitting here, all right? And uh, I, I barely had my eyes closed. And the next thing, you know, I felt the shadow over me. And, and behold, I had to open my eyes, right? Somebody just said I should open my eyes. And, and then I saw... I saw Eddie, Eddie with a knife, he, his eyes were, were wide open and, and he was moving menacingly towards me, you know, with a knife facing my chest. Oh my God. Yes, I, I, I don't know how it happened, I don't know how, in a flash, I, I, I caught his hand and then mid-air we were struggling, you know. I just don't know, I, I kind of overpowered him and, and I kicked his crouch and, and the, the knife fell. I, I couldn't just do anything else but, but to run away. So why didn't you call the police? I was, you know, I was confused. I was, I wasn't thinking straight. I was frightened, you know. I, I just hid by the, by the side of of the house, and, and then watched him back. And later he left with his luggage. That's all. It's okay, don't worry. Okay, you don't have to panic anymore. I mean, just imagine. 
imagine somebody, somebody I call my brother, somebody who knows my in and out, who knows everything about me, you know, somebody I share secrets with, wanting to kill me. Why? Just because I, 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 I told him not, not, not to uh, um, deceive your, your boss the same way he's been deceiving other women. Just that. What did I do? Is that what he does? Is that what he does? Eddie has three children from three different women he promised to marry. I mean, I, I, he not only said he was going to defraud your boss, but also he said he was going to cut me off. Cut me off a deal. Cut me off that program I designed for your company. I mean, can you just imagine what he wants to do to me? I mean, he just wants to eat all the money. He just wants to take everything. I don't know what, why. Sorry, Grace is not a fool. Besides, let us say who she's going to believe between Eddie and I. Just don't worry, okay? This is serious. I don't know Eddie. Eddie, 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 Eddie was my boy. I mean, my guy. I know. I know. He was, you know, he was just like a uh, brother to me. You know, with this close, this close. I don't, he just wants to kill me for what? Just calm down, okay? You know, now, now I. Oh God. I've always wanted to confide in, in, in someone and, and I'm happy you're that person now, you know. I'm, I'm happy we're talking right now, really. I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm happy. Oh, God. I mean, oh, my God, you're, you're beautiful. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't be saying this now, you know. It's unethical, but, but I'm just, you know, moving with my flow. I'm meant to just say this. And, and seriously, you being my confidant, I... Just forgive me, but I'm just beginning to fall in love with you. Yes. I mean, seriously, I, I don't know, but but seriously, you you just you're just, you're just so fine, and, and uh, okay, okay, you know, you're just what I need, really. I'm, I'm telling you. Wait, please. No, no, seriously, I just need to calm my nerves. You know, I've just been so scared, and and you know, it's been so bad for me. Okay, okay, just why why do you see the should you go get the car? Yeah. Okay, um, don't, you know, both of us go get the car. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure of what you say? Madam, I'm lying to you. I mean, Eddie, Eddie strikes me like a man who's calm and intelligent and very responsible, I must add. Well, there are more intellectually sound gentlemen who turned out to be serial killers and babies. I shiver in fear as I sleep with you, knowing that that monster slept under the same roof with you. Miriam, Miriam, I. I hardly trust men. But Eddie is different. He's different. I can't connect all you're saying. Well, I'm only concerned about you and the damage is psychologically going to be the main of the No. I have to be convinced before I make a mistake. I have to be convinced beyond reasonable doubt. Well, perhaps you need to speak to Kessa himself. Can you arrange that? Hello? Uh, hello, baby. Kessa, um, please, can you come upstairs? The madam wants to speak with you. Oh, I'm coming straight away, then. Where is he? He's downstairs. Sorry how serious I am. If Eddie really did this, I mean, if he could condescend so low as to be a cheat and a fraudster, I am going to terminate my contract with him and cut him off completely. Uh, no, I think you just sign a new contract with the one who actually executed the plan. Except you want us to do such talent to what am I Well, thank you very much. So tell me, what's your favorite color? Black. Black. I just knew it. I mean, I've always argued with boys, you know, telling them that the best color for a sexy, sweet, fur thing like you is black. I mean, just imagine you wearing sexy lingerie, bra and panties, huh? I have a lot of things. I know, I know, I know. So how about, you know, me singing uh, a few of the several you got, huh? 
That's me to my boyfriend. Well, I can always be your boyfriend. So what's your name, sexy? I'm Collins. Collins. You sure look like a Collins, my dude. So, see you around. What you working on? Well, I'm just developing a new TV program. Okay. Hey, do you like my cousin? <laughs> yeah, she's a nice person. Okay, I think she likes you too. But you know what? Don't hurt her for me, okay? Okay, okay. All right. Hey, cousin G, what's up? You okay? Yes, I'm fine, Shirley. I came here to see Eddie before he goes. Can you please excuse us? Oh, uh, hey, Eddie, you came for something? No, no, I'm cool. Okay, I'll just be in the kitchen to grab myself some bite. Okay, okay, okay. Please, bro. Please. Yeah. Thanks. 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 What is it? Document you need to sign before funds can be released. Don't you think I should go through it first, or perhaps consult a lawyer? Why? You don't trust me. It's all right. I know you explained to me some other time. Let me inform you that the document you just signed has terminated the agreement that we had. Okay? Now I want you to go upstairs and pick your things and leave my house this minute. What is going on? What are you talking about? Take your idea somewhere. I am not in need of it. That is if it's your idea in the first place. Hey, hey, listen. You've made a great mistake. I know you've come across Kester. I have. I have. Hey, what, what's going on here? This man is a criminal. What? An impostor. That's what he is. Go on, tell me. Whose handwriting is this? Whose? Tell me. Whose handwriting is this? Who? No. That's Kester's writing. He wrote it when we're developing a TV reality show. That's what, how he developed the reality show you said was yours. He has other things to prove this. And he has 10 other wonderful ideas we could work with. No, no, no. You're getting this whole thing wrong. Listen, I conceived the idea. He posted it into paper. All right? I know he registered my idea with some copyright council and, and it, it even got the trademark. But what I don't know is. I, I don't know he registered in his own name. And if I am going to listen to this bullshit, it means I'm going to listen to any other bullshit that's out there. I also know about the three children that you had from three different women whom you schemed yourself into their lives. My goodness, you are so hungry. You're just a hungry con man who would do anything to make money. Get out of my house. I have had enough of you. Whoa. Listen, I feel you're getting it all wrong. I cannot actually tell the good man when I see him. Shut up, Charlie. The only thing you know everything about is food and hip hop. What's going on here? Listen, I'm still on your side, alright? But I have to think about my girl first. So you better get going before she comes back. Tell me, it's me, Eddie. Eddie? Hold on, please. Eddie. Hi. Hi. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Are you with someone? Why? Oh. No, I. My brother traveled to Abuja. Okay, hi. I know we didn't part of the good note the last time. I would rather prefer we don't talk about that. Because I still shudder in shame and disgust over what happened. I also understand Kester took undue advantage of you. God, that guy is no gentleman. I don't know him from Adam. Just because I was drunk and excited, 
he violated me. I'm sorry, I I shouldn't have left you with that wolf. When I knew very well you were disadvantaged. The only reason I have not made him regret his action is because of you. Is there anything the matter? Gesto and I have finally fallen apart. I actually wanted to move to a hotel, but uh, I thought of my finance. Then I also thought I maybe I could hang out with a friend till I found an apartment to rent. I knew you guys were going to part with sooner or later. You're too nice to work with a guy like Gaston. Naomi, Gaston dealt with me. I've never been this hot. What happened? Anyway, don't worry, we'll talk about that later. Let me just open the gate for you. Maybe I'm thinking about you. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to hear, but I know there's something about you. Is it Eddie? Where will I bother my head thinking about someone who wants to destroy me? Fine. Okay, um, when you get the 60% of your money tomorrow, what will you do with it? Yeah, there's this uh, place I saw somewhere. I'll get it, and um, later I'll employ staff. And. Yeah, come to think of it, I need an experienced hand in that department. But are you sure you can handle a huge show like that? Yes, I designed the show, but still, like I said, I need an experienced hand because I've never handled a project this big before. Well, I can assist you, but not without a cost. You know, I... I get too uncomfortable when women talk about money too much. <laughs> Let me go show you something somewhere you prefer to money. <laughs> That's where you're more comfortable. And where is that, babe? Yeah, I guess. In the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Eddie, 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 yeah. Where did you see Eddie? In my dream. I told, I told you he was evil. Oh my God. Do you have any reason to be scared of him? No. 
look, he, he can go to any herbalist or any spiritualist. He, they, they can't do anything to me. Oh my God. I suggest you give him some money, at least for the role he played, you know? What? Excuse me. How, how can you be supporting evil like that? Look, Eddie is getting nothing from that project, do you understand me? And he will suffer, so suffer for, for, for trying to hurt me. Just a little money. Not harm me, do you understand? You just can't harm me. What are you talking about? You bloody well know what I'm talking about. You think you can go diabolical on me? Let me just tell you, you cannot do anything because I am a master of that game. You understand? I am a master of the game. Are you drunk or something? Listen to me. Ten cup. Do you understand? Ten cup of that money will not touch you. Rather, the ground will receive your corpse. Yes, I said so. Don't you threaten me, you hear me? Don't you just threaten me? Wait, 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 wait. wait. You have the guts to yell at me? You! Now get this message straight. No matter where you are, I am coming for you. Do you understand? And I must, I must get you. Yes, sir! Go to hell! Just go to hell! Look, let me tell you what you do. Eddie, you don't take threat from someone like Esther lightly. Listen. I know Kester very well. I will not give him the opportunity. My God will fight for me. You know, I've been waiting for a chance to pay him for what he did to me. Kester is a very dangerous person. That's something you have to be very careful about. Really? Well, we'll soon find out. Have you seen this? Kester Madre new fourth investment sector? No. Wow. <laughs> that means he knows what he's doing. Yes, it also means that I can stop worrying. I always thought I made a mistake. But if he's able to put up a thing that's already costing the clothes in the industry, that means he's a smart man. That's enough reason why he's asking for his balance when he's yet to commence shooting. Well, I understand he acquired new equipment and he's working with a whiskey production designer. I'm sure he exhausted all the fans. Miriam, the standard of the media world is you get your balance after the job is done. Besides, how come you know so much while I'm in the dark? You must stay in touch with him constantly, I presume? No, no, no. It's just um, normal industry gossip. You know, we have interest in him, so it's normal to put our hands down. Well... Owing to the turn of events, I must say that I, I'm beginning to get interested in him. And how about arranging dinner for two, him and I? Certainly, <laughs> that would ruin your chance, my love. No, you do not let a guy who's aroused the interest of society women and pretenders mm -hmm. out of your sight, do you? Okay, so... Dinner for two. Tell him I'd be honored if he leaves everything he has to do. And have dinner with me. But... What restaurant should I should I make a restaurant? Have <laughs> ever said anything about a restaurant? My place. I want to cook for him. Yes. Come on, Miriam. What is wrong in me flirting with a man who's a bachelor? I am a bachelor with myself. No, there's nothing wrong. This will fizzle out even before it begins. I know Kester is cheap publicity. It 
don't help him. Is that all you're going to stand there and say? <laughs> what else do you want me to say, my dear? Should I bury my head and cry over split milk? No, I can't. Listen, the only thing I need to do right now to prove myself is to come out with another wonderful idea that the industry cannot you know. Here. Eddie, don't tell me you're a weak. You really want to let that guy get away with what he did to you? Listen, only a fool who goes into a fight he knows that he will not win. Gesta has got money and it comes with connections and influence. Influence and connection on my feet. For God's sake, there's something called justice. A good lawyer can help you rip through this case if only you're willing to fight. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to put up a fight. The only fight I'm willing to put up here is for me to stay alive. And naturally, every other thing will fall in place. If you were my friend. Sorry. Perhaps I'm just overreacting. I can't, I can't just forget what that guy did to me. I can't. I can't. It's alright, okay? I mean, I understand how you feel. But there is no need of us magnifying the whole thing. I know Kester. Very soon he'll start running all over the place looking for money after he has eaten the money. I don't let my enemies to come crawling to me before I strike, lest it becomes too late. My heart keeps to boom as I bow my head. You know I see doom when it comes my way. But show the end, giving up, giving up. What? What? what show uh, the end? Uh, 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 hey, um, yes, it, it's honestly very good not to give up. But if you, if you seriously need to help, you can go to the kitchen and help Esther. Kitchen? Okay, I'll sure do that. But that'll be in the kitchen where I can eat some chicken. <laughs> Wait, you are overstaying your welcome. I might have to send you back home. Oh, really? Anyway, who's this person you're arranging all these things for? Like, who's this stranger that's making you run around? Well, you must know. His name is Kesta. The same guy your dear friend Eddie tried to kill and defraud. Hmm, interesting. But sometimes I think um, we don't really know who the devil is between the two of them. But in my reckoning, that won't be long. Um, who's making dinner between the two of you? You don't know how to cook? Tell me you got a new car. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, besides, um, thanks to your coaching, huh? Yeah, right. I realized your swagger needed some coaching. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you see, as my profile improves, so does my lifestyle. I mean, how do you put it together? Image is everything, so is lifestyle, eh? Huh? Eh? <laughs> you look very happy, yeah? Yes, of course I'm happy, my dear, because I am going to meet your beautiful boss today. You know, I mean, do you know how many privileged men in this society who would want to lay their hands on that girl? Do you know how many? Do you? <laughs> okay, so what happens to me? If you get bored, you go home, or don't you have a home again? Kesta, is that what you're saying to me? Hey, stop this. You don't have any reason to be jealous. I'm not jealous. No, you are jealous. Okay, fine. It's it's only natural to be jealous. Besides, I eventually left my house to come and to try and take care of you. And you also told me you were going to help me at a cost. Yeah, that reminds me. I'm still waiting for my 10% of the deal. You must think I'm stupid, right? I went on the internet and I found out you made over 20 million naira on the purchase of equipment salon. Seriously? If I want to rip you off, you won't be sounding like this. Look, I did everything I did because I love you. I want I want us to be together. I just want a union. What was that? Union? Look, I'll see you later, okay? 
And do let me remind your boss of how ambitious you are. I'm beginning to have a double mind about this. What are you studying in school? Oh! I'm a philosopher. I study human nature. Interesting. Oh yeah! I like interesting people like you. You see, Mr. Madu, overnight success has always been appealing to me. Yeah. Um, Shani, can you add some more juice to my glass? Hmm? Can you really have some add? Um, you see Mr. Madu? No, um, Shadi, uh, Kesta is my guest. Oh, I see. Good food. Yeah, 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 I agree, you know. I mean, it's amazing how despite your tight schedule, you still find time to cook this good. Well, I, <laughs> I love to cook. I mean, I'm going to have kids and take care of a family, so I, I really do love to cook. Mm. You know, I, 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 I do appreciate a woman who thinks family first because it's every man's dream to have a woman who will take care of his home. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mr. Madu, I think you have to excuse me because um, I'm full. Okay. So, I'll see you later. Take care. I like it. Oh yeah, sure. Um, I was wondering, I mean, I was thinking after dinner, you... I mean, if you ask me out, I'd love to go have a drink with you. I mean, you are a gentleman. <laughs> that would be my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. You are. Oh. <laughs> Shortly, okay. I'll be there right away.
Jesus Christ! My God! Kester! Here! You're not going to believe this. What is it? Kester was stabbed last night in front of a hotel while in the company with a woman. Is he dead? No, the, the paper said that he, he, he's still in the hospital. Well, too bad. But he deserves to die. Uh, 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 why would you say something like this? Now? Why? Am I hiding the fact that I hate him and wish him dead? He would die slowly. Because people like Kester don't deserve a quick death. Come on. Don't be too shocked. I am not a master. But at times, people force out the evil demon in you. I'm late for work. I'll see you once I'm back. Okay? I've been waiting all for you. I've been here worried about you. Hospital? What happened? My friend got stabbed. Kester? Why was he stabbed? For Christ's sake, wasn't it Kester I went out with? Did they take anything from you? No, no, we, we were lucky. Are you sure about that? You think things work that way? Those guys actually came to do what they came to do. What are you trying to say, Shirley? I'm trying to say that... The street has its own codes and language. You're so disgusting. Like, you are so insensitive. I mean, you don't know him. How can you try to judge him? Well, I can tell a shady character when I see one. You know what? You have to go home. Your mother has been asking of you. What? Yes, I'm serious. You are beginning to talk too much and you're so annoying. What? Go home. I mean it. But mom is going to be in my business. Oh, I should have shut my big mouth. Yes, Kesta, it's me. Look, you got me so worried and scared. Since last night, as soon as you left the theater. Was she honest? For goodness sakes, Kester, I'm the one here, not Grace. Look, I've been crying myself to death and you wake up and you're asking after Grace. I'm sorry. I think I know who did this. Look, um, Grace told the police that you were attacked by some woodlands. Except you have some business to do with them. Besides, I'm wondering what you were going to do in that hotel with her. Listen, I was born and raised in the streets. Those people were not hoodlums. They were sent to come after me. It's okay, alright. The police is still investigating the case. And I'm sure they'll be here soon to answer some questions. No, I know you did this, right? What's this place? The person you couldn't eliminate. Kester? You tried going gangster on me, isn't it? Well, you watch me. I'm going to show you enough gangster shit. And I swear to you, I will definitely spit on your grave too. 
castle. Just to watch me, okay? You heard me, watch me. Hello? Okay. Hello? Just taking care of business. No matter how weak a man is, when death comes, he either he stacks up and defends himself, or he just flees. I'm not ready to take chances, okay? Oh, goodness. My goodness. You're awake. What's going on here? Nothing. I, I was just advising him not to stress himself. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, maybe we should go back. Tell us what things we should tell you in the office. Okay. Take care of yourself. I would try to get to pass all my comments for today. Okay, all right. What were you discussing with Miriam? so happy I'm getting close to you. My goodness. No one can stop me from getting close to you. God forbid. I was really worried you are going to bleed to death. And I wasn't going to be able to help you. Well, I thank God I'm alive. If the police can prove that Eddie has a hand in this, he certainly will rot in jail. Wow. Easy, easy. Oh, no, no, check me. Oh, yes, sir. Oh. Kessel just called me, accused me of being behind the attack on him. And what did you say? What am I supposed to say? What am I know? Except for the one I read in the newspaper. You know what? Just ignore him. He's a dog that can't bite. No, no, no. This is serious. They didn't threaten to, 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 to declare or cast a war on me. And I presume you're scared, right? Come on, it's not like I'm scared. It's not like I'm scared. Well, I think it's about time I, I, I report this whole thing to the police. No, 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 no. You know what? Just hold on, okay? When I come back, we'll talk about it. Okay? Okay, okay, if you say so. All right then. Tama, I hear you. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. I'll, 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 I'll wait for your call. I'll wait for your call. No problem. Man, brothers. Man, I know they're happy. Tama just called me. Sir. Don't kiss them. Wow. Don't kiss them. Who be don't kiss them? Try me. They're asking that kind of question. No, no, don't kiss them. That guy, where all of us, the horse, the wrong trees together. Well, because they don't make money now, they don't shall leave us. Now just call me so now. Present, no worry yourself. No, 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 don't Kesta. Don't Kesta where all of us paid for this area before. Where they bring money come for us. Wait, wait. Don't, wait, wait. Don't Kesta. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't Kesta, my man. Don't Kesta with the rule here, 247. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, let me say, don't Kesta. Take get your number. I go. You don't know what to the ground now. My problem is the ground. Because right now, Chama just come and say, so we need to map around. I know this one thing. Because right now, we need to wait. Wait, 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 wait. Who be that manga? 
Who be that man fair? Who be that skeleton? Who will turn our guy went to water? There's no reach. You know reach. Try me. Calm down. Calm down, eh? Hi. Wow. That's where one won't come off food for our guy mouth. The guy gonna leave to chop you on. No, 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 chop now. It's a mad. No reach. For drum Hello? Now, do listen to me, Kester, okay? Sorry, this is not Kester. Who's on the line, please? But Kester just called me on this line now. Yes, he used my phone to call several numbers, but if you drop a name, I'll tell him your message. My name is Eddie. Eddie? Um, which Eddie is this? Hello? Hello? That means we have a fucking incomplete job. She pays the money and detects the tune as well. So let's go tidy it up and go back to our shack. Alright man, let's get this done. Dr. Kabiru, from State CID, this is Sergeant Ajele. We would like to talk with Mr. Kester Madu. Do you have any appointment with him, sir? We are on official duty. Let me inform my medical director, please. Okay, no problem. No problem. We are waiting. Bro, is there a flask now? Well, which food do you want to give, brother, now? This is now your side eating this, though. Back so early? Yeah, I figured you need me around, even if you pretend you don't. Yeah, I sure need someone around, someone to talk to. Thanks. <laughs> really? Are yeah. you scared? Scared? I don't scare easily. Oh yeah. By the way, how many bottles of beer have you taken? What um, I've been wondering. How could I have possibly lived under the same roof with Kester and I, I don't know his true character? My dear, human beings are deceitful and dynamic in nature. You should know this. The thing is, why on earth does he want to destroy me? Okay, the people who attacked him, I don't know them. He stole my show, yet he wants me dead. Why? Eddie, it's true you made me in school as a quiet girl. But I am... More streetwise that you can imagine. You know what? Let me handle this. Kester will no longer bother you. One bad egg in the basket definitely in time will affect others. Make it this night. You hear me? Good. Who was that? A friend. A 
Apparently, a lot of people have heard what's befell me. Well, it's in the papers. Your social profile is increasing. You don't know? And that's why my enemies don't want me to live, right? But nothing is going to happen to you. Nothing. Besides, what were the policemen asking you? Normal police routine questions. They're interested in finding out the lady who was with me when the accident occurred. Thanks for keeping me out of the picture. You don't need that kind of publicity. Else the press will be all over you. I did nothing wrong. I only hung out with you. And your boyfriend would definitely want to find out why you were with your client outside a hotel. Kesta, I haven't been dating for a while now. I... I want to date someone who's serious-minded, who's trustworthy, and very hard-working. Not all these rich guys who just want to identify with me. And take you to bed, right? <laughs> yeah. Fake rich men. All of them scared of commitments and responsibilities. If you see this man you're looking for, will you recognize him? I'm no longer searching for the man, Kesta. That is if you will be my friend. Time will tell. But the thing is, you're taking this thing too far. It's you as my sister. Oh, really? Your mother's firstborn, I'll be last born. Okay, okay, okay. Don't get worked up, alright? I'll just go to the pharmacy and pick some drugs and I'll be right back. When is this this? I'll find out if you're gay or impotent. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the last girl who tried to be walked away with bow legs. So don't even think about it. <laughs> You! You! <laughs> you don't I hope you don't belong to that school of thought that judges a man's manhood from his length of his finger and his toes. Well, I belong to a school of thought that says feeling it is knowing it. Good, I'll be back. If only he was different, I would have given settling down my thought. You will try my best. I just wanted to check up on how you're faring. He's fine. He's very fine. My eyes have been on him all day. So, did anything crop up at the office? No, ma'am. I see you brought something for him. Yes, I, I thought you needed something. No, you shouldn't have bothered. I'm here and he has everything he needs. Hey. Huh? <laughs> Wouldn't you say something nice to me, Huh? <laughs> Say something nice to Miriam. She brought you food and she came to see how you're faring. Oh, um, something nice to Miriam. <laughs> Don't mind him, Miriam. He is so disgusting. I mean, he has this sense of humor that is so annoying. He still plays even when he's in pain. Okay, I, I guess I'll take my leave then. Yes, you should. I mean, you've worked too hard today. You should rest. Um,. What? Huh? What is it? Nothing. 
You weren't expecting you were going to have a competition between myself and Mr. Oh, no. Come on, how can you say a thing like that? You know I'm not one open to flirting. I'm just joking. <laughs> I know you'll never do anything like that. Yeah. You know, That's... I'm thinking, why don't you move into my place so I can take very good care of you when you leave the hospital? You need proper care, you know. Um, if that's not going to be any inconvenience to you. Well, trust me, it's no bother at all. Gotcha. <laughs> Eddie! Eddie! I'm in the kitchen. What? What are you doing here? Where's the boyfriend? Yes, the mother is living with you. Where is he? I said, where is he? He went out. Ah, I don't know if you have come out of this house. Nobody did this house. Nobody did. It's okay. I could drop message. My bed is big. One time. I'll make you look at top with me. My bed is girl. Please, ah, too late after all. Oh. Hello. Yeah, um, I 
I'm having a meeting with our model of admire shoes. If anything comes up, just keep them for me, okay? No problem. Take care. Hello. Good day, madam. Good day, Good day, Welcome. Oh, Miriam, trust me, I wasn't expecting myself either, but Kesta is getting better, so I said to hop in. Oh, I'm expecting you like him a lot. Are you crazy? I adore that guy. I mean, he's the naughtiest guy I've been with. <laughs> I guess so. Um, anyways, I was on my way to meet the model for the Admire cosmetic shoot. Miriam, why haven't you come to the house to say hello to Kesta? I've been very busy in the office, so I just felt... I understand. Been so busy, you really want to see him, but you don't want to invade our privacy, hmm? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess so. Um, anyways, I'm having a meeting with the model casted for the Admire Cosmetics shoot. Ah, it's okay, it's nothing. You should go and see the model so you can tell me if the exorbitant fee the agent is charging is worth it, okay? Very real, madam. Hey, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I hate to be so jumpy, but I was scared. I mean, I'm so excited. Do you think I'm in love? Like, I just feel like, okay, don't answer. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> Hello, well, I guess you picked my call today because she's not with you, yeah? Oh, my darling, I am recuperating, so um, I've not been picking calls of late. Oh, I forgot. Doctor's recommendation with my boss in the house. Do I hear the sound of your jealous rage again, baby? Look, Hester, it's been one whole month since you left the hospital, and I've not been able to see you. Well, I was expecting you to come around. Come around? Come and watch her run after you like a pet dog. Hey, 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 listen. I'm trying to be polite to you, okay? And if you continue this way, I have no choice but to tell you I owe you no apology whatsoever. What did I hear you say? And don't you even dare use that threatening tone on me. Do you understand me? Don't. Else you'll be sorry. Look, Hester, you think you can just use and discard me? Perhaps turning around on a good day to send your thoughts after me? Watch your tongue, okay? I am not Naomi, if you want to know. Yeah? I am fully prepared for you, okay? <laughs> Who's, who, who's feeding my baby with this fake chest? <laughs> what are you talking about, baby? Yes, I just cut this crap. Just cut it. Look, I guess you cut the house. Let's talk about this or else. Or oh, oh, what? Or oh, what? No, tell me. Or oh, what? Or oh, what? Now listen to me. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what bullshit you're talking about. I don't even know what Naomi you're talking about. Do you understand me? I guess you'll find out sooner than you expect. Whatever. Is this how I lost my oldest sister? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't get to you, Sudo, or any member of your family. Well, no one will blame you. I have gone through the police report and I have listened to your own side of the story. It's unfortunate. We will bury our dead. It's unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. The only thing I can say right now is to take heart. I, no one, no one has felt her death more than I do. No one. I just wish I was there when the chaos came. I swear to God, I just wish. It's all right. God has a reason for everything. I. Do you know me? And do you knew me in school? Dangerous weapon. Nobody dares my sister if I was in this town. I'm still keeping my ears on the ground in case anything filters in. Do you by any chance suspect anyone? No, I'm just I'm just trying to tie in a couple of loose and Forget the police. Let me be the first to know if you have any clue, okay? 
Definitely. After her burial, I'll be going back to Abuja. And since you had an accommodation problem before entering in here, I can see the reason why you can't maintain the house. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, it is okay. Just preparing dinner. A moment. So you want us to eat late again today? To be ready in ten an hour. Better. Oh, besides, what did Kesta have for lunch? He hasn't eaten anything since breakfast. Why? He said he wasn't hungry. He hasn't been looking happy after he argued with somebody on phone. <sighs> okay. Um. um. enough reason why you refuse to have lunch? Well, I'm not hungry. Okay, well, I got the toilet, a shirt and a tie. Thank you. You're not going to look at it? I will. I'm just tired. Kesta, what is wrong with you? Nothing, nothing is wrong. I'm, I'm perfectly okay. Okay, to tell you the truth, I, I think I just have to go home, okay? I, I, I'm worried about my project. You don't have to worry about your project, Kesta. That's why you hired the hands of an associate producer and a director to oversee your affairs. Look, I know, but you see, I just have to... What is going on? Who called you today? Or who did you call? A business associate. Male or female? Hey, 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 why are you asking me this question? I just want to know so I can ascertain why you're not happy. Oh, is it because I refused you sex? Grace. Wait, I mean, I did it for your own sake. The doctor said your health was not strong enough for us to begin Grace. to have sex. It was for you. I, I mean, I, I just want you to be okay. That was why. Stop. Stop it. Suffer the courage to let her know. I was told it now. Though I never approved of her reckless and white lifestyle, she was so headstrong and independent. I love her so much. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I miss her very much. Yes, I do. I didn't realize what I had for her. Until I lost her. <laughs> Someday, we shall meet again, sister. And never to part no more.
I don't know what to trust anymore. I wish I could just reach out and touch her. <laughs> Were you crying? No. I'm not crying. I see tears in your eyes. This way, I will avenge her death someday, I promise. Oh well. I need to know who is responsible for her death. Forget about your operations. Okay? What do you want? Hello, hello, Eddie, Eddie, it's Miriam. Miriam? Yes, you remember me? Okay, okay, this, this is beginning to make more sense. So you all are in this together, right? Eddie, listen to me, I, I have information I can give you. No, you listen to me. Tell your madam I did nothing wrong to her. Since you all have decided to gank up against me to destroy me, fine, okay? But let her know, let her be ready when I'm ready to come after my own enemies. In as much as I am not happy with Grace right now, she's quite ignorant of all that is happening. So you know what's happening, right? Good. It's fine. And that would be all. Eddie, I just wish you can listen to me. I virtually abandoned my job that is so passionate to me. Just for him to understand that I do love him. I mean, I, I care about him. Do you think it's because I didn't have sex with him? No, no, madam, I don't think so. Then what would make him reject my hand of friendship if we nurtured well could lead to a bond that would be an envy to all? What? Well, perhaps he, he doesn't really care about you as much as you do. You think so? I don't know. It's it's just a thought. Perhaps I should have made love to him. I should have made love to him. I was worried about his health. I mean, his wound hadn't healed. I... I... What do you think? Well... Perhaps... You like him? I... I... No, you know, as a client and... As a friend, of course. Oh, no, he's gone. He's gone and... I will not go after him. And every woman should have her pride, no matter what. Oh, 
Unless, of course, he's going to ask my forgiveness anyways. What do you think? Well, that's the right thing to do. You may go back to the office. I wish to be left alone for the rest of the day. You may go. Madam, are you sure you'll be okay? Do you think I... Yes, yes, I... I'll be fine at you. You may go. I can stay back. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Go. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Just go, go, please. Go. Can you give me one reason you choose to hold him out to stay with him? Business? Yes. Kester, I am your business. And in case you forgot, I made all of this possible. <laughs> well, no one is disputing that. Besides, you don't own me. I mean, I can't be caged now. Caged? Yes. Is that what you're saying to me? Of course. No, 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 no. Listen, I am a businessman, okay? I use what I have. God, I hate you. What? Akuma. You sick. No woman has ever, ever done that, okay? Not even you. And you can start it. I have business to take care of and I need you out of my way. Did you just do that to me? You are my business. And when I'm ready to take care of you, I will. Now stand up and get out. I swear to God, you regret it. and I was told you did not come to work. You didn't come here to find out why I missed the office, did you? Obviously not. What are you doing in my house, Mr. Edward Oshimi? To find out why you hate me so much. You are so disgusting. I trusted you. I let you ride on my back. What did you do? You betrayed me. That's what you did. You never believed in yourself. As such, you never trusted my judgment. I mean, you are easily lied to at any time. Therefore, believe him. But he proved to me beyond reasonable doubt that you are not who you said you were. Do you believe in violence as a means of setting skulls? Why? Why do you have to, to, to express your hatred to me by, by connabbing with him to, to murder someone? What, 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 what are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? Don't tell me you have no knowledge of Naomi's death. <laughs> Who is Naomi? Naomi is my friend! Got murdered by talk sent by your friend, Kester! That's gone insane! Your evil ways has finally driven you to insanity! Can't you see that? If you weren't insane, you would have known that the evil plans you carried out won't be hidden for long. Oh my goodness! Eddie, you... you do drugs now? Are you on drugs? Listen, I've come to warn you because I believe you're a good woman. Kester is a career con person. Whom I thought I would have changed. Stay away from him. Thank you very much. I have. Now leave my house. I know that you know about Naomi's death because Miriam knows about everything that is going on here. You have the children cost more pains when I found out you are part of the conspiracy. In my house. What do you 
know about Naomi is there. Naomi? Does the name sound strange to you? No. I don't know any Naomi. Perhaps I'll refresh your memory if I say Eddie's friend. Well, I don't know Eddie had a friend called Naomi. How did she die? That is what I want to know. How did she die? And you are going to tell me. Well, I do want to tell you about Kesta and I. What happened between Kesta and yourself? Madam, you have no idea. I want to hear from your mouth. What happened between Kesta and yourself? Well, Kesta deceived us. He lied to us that um, Eddie wanted to kill him. Right now, I have reasons to believe that he's not even the one that conceived the whole idea of the reality show. What are you trying to say? That Eddie did own the reality show? Yes. How did you know? I educated Kesta on what to do. I do know his primary objective is not only to collect the show, but to also win your heart. You have to forgive me, seriously. I trusted Kesta, I was wrong. Was it you, Grace, or the both of you? I worked on Grace's weaknesses, and Kesta did the rest. Were you guys dating? No. I did for me. But you guys did it, or he used you. Okay, let's just say I was stupid. Good. Which explains everything. How do you mean? Remember, he used to be my friend, mm -hmm. and I know how he operates. Apparently, he has got something to do with the boss. That's why you're angry. Look, Grace is too decent for a guy like him. I know they had a fallout, and I just pray it remains like that. You guys don't even know the devil you're dealing with. And to start with, you have to watch your back. Because if he finds out that you're talking to me, he will do anything. He can do kill. Please, will you just promise me that you make up with Grace? Please. I feel terrible for destroying what you both had. Eddie, please. Don't you dare touch me. That is not why I'm here. Look, I know you're upset at me, right? Well, you must think I'm stupid, right? Actually, on the contrary, I think you are so, so beautiful. Don't you dare patronize me, Kesta. Your papa has been blown. I now know you've been sleeping with Miriam, and I also know you lied about Eddie. My goodness, you are so disgusting! Ah, uh, women, women, women. Why are you so predictable? What? What? What, what is funny? <laughs> the funny thing is that Miriam has been able to carry out and exhibit her threat. What threat? I'm a nice guy, okay? Now, I have been trying to save her job because I'm only human. But if you don't know, Miriam has been asking me out from the first day I came to your office. Yes, and how she knew my phone number, how she got my address, I still don't know. Miriam has been chasing you. But you've been sleeping with her. I have never slept with her, though she wished I did. <laughs> Miriam even suggested to be married. And when she knew that, you know, you and I, you and I were intimate, you and I were getting down, she swore to destroy us. Miriam would never do anything like that. She would never condescend so last to want to compete with me. You know, what you don't know is that Miriam is a very, very ambitious woman. I mean, Miriam wants to own a bigger media outfit than yours. And I'm sure she must have told you like she's told every other person that she helped package me. Oh, yes. That is true, isn't it? The truth is that I have been so blessed with ideas, no inexperience to carry them out. And that was how Eddie almost stole my ideas. 
Someone is lying to me here. Someone is not telling the truth. I'll tell you what. Miriam, I know, is making a big mistake by going to Eddie to carry out these threats. But what you don't know is... <laughs> Eddie? <laughs> Eddie... Eddie is a slimy, dangerous man. How long have you been working with me? For three years, madam. And all this while you were planning my downfall? Madam, where is this coming from? Oh, shut up and stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. How well do you know, Kesta? I... Do you mean other than... Answer my question, Miriam. Are you dating Kesta? No, I... Liar! You cheap whore! Tell me, how many more of my clients have you been sleeping with without to have your own company? How many? Okay, this is ridiculous. Fine, I had something to do with Kesta, but that was before I realized you both had... You are so disgusting! And that is ridiculous! You are, you are so disgusting! To think that you could compete with me and that would be in your best interest! Okay, madam. I wanted to tell you, but I didn't want to hurt you. <sighs> You want Kester. You can never have Kester. You know why? Because he doesn't want you. Isn't it belittling? Sleeping with two friends? Madam, two? You're, you're making a mistake. No. You are the one making a mistake, Miriam. And I am so certain they are poor off started from you. Okay, fine. I, I should have told you all this well, but... I just thought... Keep your thoughts to yourself. I can never work with somebody I'm not comfortable with. Madam... Miriam! You are fired. Madam, you, do I need to call security? No. Do I need to call security? No, he's using you. Hello? Hello? Eddie, this is Mia. How can I help you? Can I see you? I, we need to discuss something. Regards to what? I want to help you. You want to help me? <laughs> Did Grace send you to arrange this meeting? <laughs> no, Grace is so into Kesta right now. You know, web of lies and all that. We have to get her out of this. If only you are ready to cooperate with me. Well, Grace is an adult. And I believe she can take care of herself. And as a good offer, God will exonerate me. And I'll be vindicated. Okay, so you will know. I just lost my job. But seriously, that does not matter now. Let's just see and discuss. Fine. Yeah. Okay, then. Madam. Good evening, ma. Good evening. What's it? Madam, now, a guy aid you. He's there outside the gate. Why didn't you call with the intercom? Ma Madam, they didn't know they walk again. And I don't tell Esther Simi she tell you. I see you want to make do your treff of dealing with me. 
wish I could. You know, you need to be wrapped up a bit. Oh. Eddie, you look pale. Are you eating well? <laughs> pale? I'm fine. So what of Shorty? Shorty's fine. He went to spend some time with his parents. Well, I can see Kessa has finally succeeded in making you fire Miriam, right? I didn't fire Miriam because of Kesta. I fired Miriam because I lost confidence in her. Apparently she did something wrong. Yes. It's an internal issue. Besides, did you come here to discuss Miriam with me or you came to visit me? Honestly, we shouldn't have gotten involved with you. As a matter of fact, in the first place, I shouldn't have listened to Kesta to present the proposal to you. I wish so myself. I'll have still been living my quiet life. It's unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. May I regret helping Kester to get to know you? Oh, she's so sorry she wouldn't have had anything to do with him if she knew you had interest. What's your interest in all this? What is your interest in helping a lady who practically kicked you out of dying in it? I hate injustice. Though I'm not here to talk about myself. Edward of Simiri. Do I really know you? You would have, if only you were patient. Apparently you had no alarming offer. Who else? I'll kill him if I find him. Well, why are you at it? Cut off his balls for me. You think this is funny, don't you? You think I'm happy you lost your job because of that bastard? Well, you cost it. No, no, no. Your, your impatience ruined everything. Kesta, no woman will watch a man romancing another woman. No. What is wrong with you? Huh? I know I said nasty things to you, yes. But if you were smart, you would realize it was just a game. Grace meant nothing to me. But you didn't behave like the gentleman I knew you to be. You would have confided in me. How can I have a beautiful woman like you and not appreciate you? Kesta. Yes? Do you truly care about me? More than you ever know. Can we just concentrate and strategize on our business? Because once Grace regains her sanity, she'll look into the job of not being able to leave us all. No way. Now, um, how can I deliver without having my mentor first? Huh? We have to make love. But first of all, you have to. Kiss me after I kiss you right back. Let's go. Who's strategize properly? Come on, come on. You know I'm your boy. Come on, baby. Come, 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 How did you get to know about Naomi? Ready. So both of you have been in touch? No, he was in touch with me. And how did he get your number? Honey, relax. What will I be doing with a man who wants to destroy my heart desire? You remember you used my phone to call him in the hospital? That still doesn't explain both of you hooking up. Okay, fine. He called. Thinking it was you he was speaking with, he said, Kesta, I know you are there. I know you killed now. You know, I wonder why the police haven't arrested that boy for, for killing that girl. It's just a cold-blooded murderer. Ah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. It's not like I doubted you. I just need to be sure. Who is Naomi? Lousy hope. So, um, what were you doing violating a lousy husband? Excuse me? Kesta, I know you. Look, I know you love sex so much that you can even sleep with your friend's wife. Look, what, what was the meaning of this? I mean, what? And whatever, I don't understand. Hey, stay here, Well, very soon, you would know why I'm playing the
Ah, leave everyone. Yeah, leave me. Lady. Meet Carl. Carl's coming. Okay, Carl. Hi, how are you? Nice meeting you. Yeah, Kenny here has been telling me a lot of good things about you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's nice to know. <laughs> uh, sit down. Um, Carl and I belong to a same fraternity. Yeah, we are one good family. We are one, one, two, three. All of us are too. Okay. Ah, uh, what about the beer? Oh, thanks. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You say so? Yeah, Eddie. Can I told me you're suspecting somebody to be behind Naomi's death? Well, uh, it was just a theory. I wasn't certain. As soon as your theory comes to friction, whoever that is behind it will suffer it the most. And I will make sure the person suffered it more than she did. I I know how you feel. That if the police get the information before us, that they could go away shielding the killer or in the name of justice. I do understand what you're saying, but uh, please, uh, please ask me the It's alright. It's alright. I'll take care of it. Alright? It's okay. Do you trust him? Well, um, so far I have not faulted him. You know we can force out whatever he knows if you ask us to do so. <laughs> now may we cost me even in debt if I hurt her friend. Come on, leave that thing. She died because of this guy. Let's treat this guy's fuck up well at once. Relax, man. Carl, cool down. As time goes on, something will turn up. Okay. the question. Do you miss me? Of course I miss you. See you. Uh, I miss you so much that I just have to tell you right now something I've never told a woman. I I think I'm in love with you. Did you say you think? You sound like you're not certain. Is someone there with you? Well, uh, I... I, I, I am. Uh, um, look, 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 listen. Um, my, my, what? No, 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 not at all, no, no. No to what? No, you think you're in love with me or you are in love with me? No. Look, I'm my, my kind of person, okay? This is me, alright? I, 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 I. Now you're trying to deviate from the subject. Say Grace, I am in love with you and that way I will know you're serious. I, I'm a very, very forgiving person, okay? And, and that's that. I don't talk with people's emotions. Listen, I gotta go. I'm very busy, so don't play with me. Look, look. My word is bond, okay? Once I've said something, that is just the way it is. I've told you the truth, really. Performance bond, everything. Yes, everything I've submitted at the ministry. Yes. Oh my. Oh, no problem. No problem. 
no problem at all. Uh, my regards to the chairman. Yes. All right. Bye now. Yeah. Who was that? A friend. Will that friend be Grace? Um, perhaps. Well, I'm willing to overlook whatever you have with Grace as long as it's based on business. Isn't that what the good man is supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll be waiting for you upstairs okay. so you can finish all this stuff. Alright. <laughs> Don't keep me reading. I won't be, but I'll, I'll just go get some water from the kitchen, huh? Okay. okay. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. ah. How come all of a sudden she's so sincere and understanding? Listen, I, I want you to get to the wardrobe, okay? There is an old briefcase. It's either on top of it or inside the wardrobe. Okay, alright, thanks. I'll keep in touch, okay? But meanwhile, I need to crash this laptop. I give it to you, so I explain now, this is very dangerous. Listen, all my original handwritten ideas, they are bound to be there, except he removed it. No, I, I'll just play with my phone while I wait for you. Alright, do I need to use the laptop? No, what wait? Haven't you spared me enough? No, let me just check my mail. <laughs> no, I can't wait. Like, we're gonna take our time. <laughs> It's really, really dangerous. <laughs> okay, I'll take this. And um, yeah, this. Can you exonerate yourself from this damaging article? I mean, this is nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. This is the handiwork of my enemies who want to bring me down. And I know it's Eddie's handiwork, yes. And you know what? I am going to face him. I will meet Better. him. Yes? Can you please tell me something better? At least give me a good lie or something. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. You actually believe this, 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 this cheap gossip? This not the reporter did the tarot job. I mean, look at this. Your old photograph is on the magazine to support their claim. So are your hotel, that has. Look, listen, don't, don't tell me you, you actually do believe the cock and bull story of me being rosticated from two universities because of cult activities. The three girls you raped claim that you are a monster. Your HOD did claim that you did threaten him when he refused to accept bribe from you. The police have other evidence to prove other criminal activities you have been involved in. What? What, what, what's going on? Tell me, wait, is this true? Wait, wait. Of course it's not true. What are you talking about? It's not true. You know what? I am going to consult my lawyer because of this. I'm going to sue happening people because of this nonsense. They will regret ever publishing this. I already called the editor. 
I mean, this is extremely damaging. It's obviously going to embarrass our clients whom you're supposed to be handling their job. Uh, what, what did the editor say? He said he's sure of his source and he'll be willing to meet you in court. That, of course, is if you have the nerves to sue them. Really? I thought you said you knew this case, I'm not. No. I, I don't know him. I mean, I, I've never met him before. I'm sure we've discussed about him on the phone when Naomi told me about your accommodation problem. No. No. I, I mean, that can be true. I don't. I don't know this Kester from Adam. I, I, I don't. I don't. Okay. I think I remember. I remember vividly now. It was uh, Naomi that told me how this Kester model cheated you out of a huge contract and later threw you out of his house. <laughs> no. It wasn't his caster. The name is Pastor. You understand? Pastor is my business partner. You know, we call him Pastor because he has a calm attitude. That's why. But this, this guy, you know, I, I don't know him. You know, both names uh, has the same rhyme. Caster, Pastor, both of them have the same rhyme. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Caster. Okay. Honey, relax. Look, I am the media expert here. You know, we have to find a way to defuse this case before it gets out of hand. Because other media and soft will be looking for more scoops. How will this affect us? Well, it can damage your career if not carefully handled. Besides, Grace will be forced to cancel her deal with you. And other public relations company would not want to offer you a job. So what do we do now? Well, we'll find a way to counter your story, you know. Grant press interviews. But I need to know all the stories they said about you. Is it true? Um, they were. They were um, exaggerated. But um, you spent a week in jail because of a 419 connected event. I was innocent, okay? But I thought you said Eddie was responsible for all the terrible things. Uh, hey, why, why are you asking me silly questions? Okay, you should concern yourself with getting me out of this. Okay, it can be done, but it will cost you money. How much? Um, 20 million. What? Wait, wait, wait. Am I a politician? No, you are a celebrity. Unless you want your name to be forgotten like bad news. Okay, okay. I, 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 I can come up with 10 million. And I, I mean, look, you just have to save me out of this. If not, Eddie will laugh at us. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not going to laugh at us, okay? Just. Trust me on this one, okay? <laughs> mm, this is one blow below the belt, really. Um, Alright. This is too bad. I'm seriously worried. I think I have to show how this is. Hi. I I hope you know that you're swimming in dangerous waters. <laughs> Every man screams when you hold him and squeeze him real hard down there. Hell is nothing compared to a woman who is hot. Look, I started this. I am willing to end it. Yeah. Here is an agreement between Kesta and my former office. I just realized that no episode has been shot. So, what do you have in mind? My source in happening people is to publish your profile this weekend. That will be unveiled to the media next weekend. How do you intend to do that? 
Well, I have a registered company called Top Class Media. They're in charge of the unveiling to rival Kester's project that is supposedly handling. But there was no show to unveil. I know 80% of what you read in Soft Cell is hype. Every business is based on hype and gossip. Well, I, I'm suddenly scared. I mean, what if they're going to cut off our booth? Don't worry. I personally handpicked the crew working on Kester's show. Besides, that idiot has not even visited the office for weeks. And I'm sure they are willing to sabotage him. Well, that's Kester for you. He's a strategist. He's not an industry man. My only fear is heads will go off. Look, just be ready and willing to take the glory. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So I keep this one. Where do you expect us to get 10 million naira from? We have paid you your orphan, but you're yet to deliver. Look, things got delayed because of what happened to me. I exhausted all the funds you gave me, and right now I am desperate. Will you? Tell me something, Kester. Is somebody blackmailing you? I wish that was the case, really. I am having a meeting with the board of directors this afternoon based on the publication. We cannot afford to lose our accounts because of you. Now listen to me, Chris. If you do not grant me this money I'm asking for right now, Perhaps I will go down. Now what happens to your board of directors and yourself? Kesta, I can help you. But I am not willing to stick up my neck for you because you're not, you're not telling me the truth. <sighs> Look, just help me out with this money, please. Please. The next quarter is around the corner. And if another company unveils the same reality show in this shape, is sinking. But I just want to tell you about what I'm working on. It's a TV sports reality show and it's, it's about to be unveiled. That's a very good news. Um, uh, is it not the same thing that uh, Kesta Mado is into? Coincidentally, yes. But I, I just thought it wise that I should tell you so you wouldn't be surprised if you see me in the papers. Oh, fantastic. Now I see what my late sister saw in you. Thanks. Excuse me. You're not around to support your friend. He's a good guy, though. And he's going to do you proud. Just, just relax. I'll, I'll, I'll be with you soon, okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so, about someone building up a show that looks like mine. Who just called you? Grace! Ah. If this is it, then we are finished. What? Eddie, 
I know a smart move when I see one. Now by tomorrow, the news will hit the world. I want for us to see and discuss. Name your price. Eddie, you don't think I got to where I am today by not playing dirty sometimes, do you? I want you to drop that show. It will kill the one we... Eddie, please. Now I am willing to sell for you any show you bring to my table. But not this one, please. Baby seems worried. I guess I need for you to bring back the agreement from me signed. A new company headed by your arch rival is about to unveil the same show to the public. <laughs> That's Meaning that our clients are going to drop us for them. <laughs> That's impossible. I own the copyright, okay? Not if the show has been adjusted, you don't. If, if that happens, we're finished. There's no we. Yes, that. It's you. Practically, literally, you are finished. Except. Except that. Whoa! Dad! I'm sorry. Once the news is tried down tomorrow, all the PR companies will be running after you. What happens to our Grace? I mean, we don't want to hurt her. No, um, we'll just let that linger and wait for them to cancel Kester's agreement and accept our proposal. <laughs> 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 I told you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the longest sources to our longest game. <laughs> this is really, really nice. It's really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> But I thought by now, Kesto would have been prepared to a call to come back home. <laughs> I'm surprised to expect Grace has done. What's it? How many souls you won't take? What's wrong? Something is wrong somewhere. You think so? I know so. Now listen, my advice. Don't go back to that house until we are certain he doesn't suspect you. But no, I beg you, I beg you, just make any excuse you can make. But I don't want you to go back to the house. Please.
because she was being a nuisance. Don't worry. And I will get my message. Eh? Esther, it's time to clean up this business. You're not speaking. What? What up? I hope there's no problem. about Miriam Miriam is dead what what uh, uh, how how did she die she was a car run over her separately oh my god listen listen to me carefully okay you don't need to see me okay we we don't even have to stay in contact if she dies because of what she knows that means you have to shut your mouth to remain alive what do I do what do I do I I don't know who to trust. Listen, just do exactly what I said to you, alright? No, I, I have to go to the police. I have to go to the police. Uh, to do what? To do what to the police? Listen, that would be the biggest mistake you ever make. What are you going to tell them? That you either suspect me or Kessel that is beyond her death? No, you don't have proof. You are just asking for more problems and troubles. Hello? I, I, I know what you're driving at, but I just want you let us not stay in contact, alright? Okay, bye, 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 bye. You have been quiet lately. Do you have any information that might interest me? Not really. I'm working on a tutorial. I have to be certain so I don't accuse the wrong person. I trust you. But I have every reason to believe that you are withholding information from me. No one wants to know more about Naomi's death more than I do. I speak to you when I think it's right. It's okay. Just that I don't want you to make mistake of going after forces that are beyond you. You need support, you know? Do I already know what I'm doing?
was that? I said, who's there? I was wondering if you went out. What are you doing in the dark? Awake? By this time of the night? I'm fine. Just been working out some things in my mind. Tell me. Something is bothering you. And I want to know about it. The thing is, I... And I've been wondering if, if I'm a coward or a weakling. Well, why would you say that? I think I know who is behind Naomi's death. Yes, his intention was to kill me. Unfortunately for him, I was not around. That's how they killed Naomi. You do? Where is your I don't know. I'm about to see your pastor. Yes, sir. Then where is he? I don't know. Pastor, where is he? I don't know. I told you that guy is mad. He has your master seen us when we were coming in. I told you before now. Yes, you must be hiding somewhere. You better stay here or you are dead. Yes, sir.
I told you, I told you, let's wait this man immediately and reject you. Look at him now. Wait, that owes us nothing at this time we're no longer in school. Why are you talking like this? Whatever that is God doing is God doing well. You could have waited this guy. Pay hey, him, pay hey. Come on, let's follow this way, child. Yeah. I didn't hear you coming last night. I stayed out late. You must have slept when I returned. Well, I didn't want to tell you about Kester. Because he's a cat. And whenever he suspects a threat, his sixth sense become a light. He's a very dangerous person. You must approach him with caution. Allow me to worry about that. Okay? I just hope you do what you're doing. You've done your own duty by telling me. Thanks. Okay, I... I was going out, I... I want you to be careful what you're doing. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Sure you can? Yeah. Take care of yourself, huh? Hey, my love, don't get mad at your security camera. Yeah. Because uh, I told you you were expecting me. Hey, sure. Ah. Hey. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You never told me he was around. Yeah. Well, you know what, Shorty? I, I, I keep telling of Grace here, actually, that um, you know, it's a good thing having somebody like you here. Yeah, because you have a way of lightening up her beautiful face after a hard day. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, darling, I think we should actually, you know, meet a whole lot of your family members because I know they'll be as fun as Shorty. Hey, um, I need to go to the kitchen. I have something on the mind. Have you ever tested raw chicken food? No. You like it. You want some? Uh, yeah. You?
He said he came back from shopping around 5.30 p.m. to meet Ekene hanging in the room. Officer, I didn't say I was shopping by 5.30 p.m. What I said was, I had some stuff earlier. Wait, wait. This is the second time someone has died in this house within months. Do you have a perceived enemy? None that I know of. Something is not right here. First, the younger sister was murdered. You discovered her. Oh, no. Officer, are you suggesting that I... Wait, 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 wait. This is just police putting questions. I will need you to come to our office tomorrow for further questioning. I want you to understand that I'm not taking you in based on self-recognition. Self-recognition? <laughs> oh, 
You think policemen don't read newspapers and magazines? Mr. Oshiro, if I may ask, are you not the newest emerging force in the media sector? Whose publication is everywhere, both the magazines and the newspaper. So you go to his my brother, you cannot hide away from things like this. So whatever you do, you watch over. Okay? Well, they didn't know something like that. I'll interest you guys. Well, I make it my business to know everything. Especially young successful men like you. Never can say. We might need each other's services. Obviously. I agree. Well, that will be all for now. I would advise you to keep your eyes open. Whoever the killers are might still be walking around. Thanks, officer. I've been calling her, she's not picking my calls. She's, she's fine, she's upstairs. Can I see her? Yeah, why not? Good, I'm taking to her. Okay. Hey, little man, don't you know who this man is? Huh? Oh. 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 Um, listen, don't worry about that guy, I'll take care of him, okay? Um, why don't you sit down? I'll go tell how you're around. Okay, do that fast. Alright, alright, okay. Oh, 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 Why is everyone on the edge? Hi. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Everything okay? Cool. I need to talk to Grace. Well, as you can see, she's having that. Then I'll wake up myself. I'll kill him, I swear! Come on, I'll kill him! Back to me! I'll kill him! 